Hello everyone, welcome to the Gorix Lab. Today I am excited to share my latest project, a, a student information management system built using PHP and MySQL. Managing a student's record can be a headache, right? But what if you had a system where you could easily add a student, view a complete list of a student, you can edit the details of a student and even analyze data using graphs. Sounds interesting, right? So let's explore. Now let's discuss the feature of the student information management system. First one is adding a student. Second one is view and edit a student data. Third one is graphical data representation. Now let's go to the dashboard. Of, so the first feature adding a student I'm going to show that. So let's click on the add a student. There you can see a pop up form has been opened. Fill the form. I'm using fact filler which will fill all input. Here you can see name, the email, and the, the phone course. Number. Yes, now let's click on the add a student. Yes, guys, you can see here the student has been added here. Now let's see the see all a students and edit how to edit the a student information. So let's see there is the see all options. Now click in that. There you can see here has been opened a dedicated page for that so here is the option to you can filter by course by date range and you can apply that filter if you will click on the reset the filter will be reset here now you can see there is the list where it is showing the name email course and join so let now i'm going to show you the edit function let's click on the edit here i will edit the name Now let's click on the save changes. Yes, guys, you can see here. Now let's see the delete function. So just click on the delete. It is confirming, guys. You are you sure want to delete this student? So click on OK. Yes, guys, you can see here has been deleted the data students. Here you can see there is showing only three, two students. Before that, there was the three. Now I am going to show you the filter feature. So in that, click here. Here you can see it is showing the all courses which is already here. You can see. Follow Patanum, Sitnos, and second one is CSE. So let's choose the CSE. Choose the date range from today and tomorrow and apply the fee. Click on the apply. Here you can see it is not showing any students. So because that another student was joined already, now let's change the department now apply here you can see it is showing that feature because it is filtered according to date if you will click from here to here it will show let's click on the csc yes as you can see the filter has been applied you can see here and if you will click on the reset it the filter will be reset yes as you can see it is working perfectly so guys there you can see there is the enrollment analytics yes guys it is the graph it will show the analytics whatever the student will add and which month and which date it will show everything in the enrollment analytics as you know the graph is very important in the analytics and also it is very easy to understand 
So whatever you are an educator looking for an efficient system or a developer exploring new projects, this a student system management is a perfect solution. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe to Gorilax and drop a comment below with your thoughts. See you in the next video guys. Until then keep coding and stay creative.